Yo, what is up guys? It's just Snoff here and today I'm gonna show you guys how to build the Ford Unicorn V2 in Lego. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Now before this video starts, I do recommend you go check out my good friend Tay Bricks' channel. Now, he was Bunny Bricks before, but he just recently changed his name, so I kind of had to redo this whole thing. But pretty much, he is a mock builder like me. He builds a lot more things than mainly cars. He builds so many other kind of different mocks and designs, and I think they're really cool, and I think you guys should definitely check them out. He also live stream like once or twice a week, and I'm always on those, so if you guys want to chat with him and talk to me or just come to have a good time, you guys should definitely check out his channel. But yeah, now onto the video. It is the 4th of July, guys, Independence Day, and how cool would it be to replicate one of the most powerful American muscle cars in LEGO for this grateful day? And here it is, I chose the Ford Unicorn V2 that Ken Block drove on that ClimbCon episode back in September. And if you guys know this car in real life, it is a monster. It has over 1,400 horsepower. It is literally a drift god, and I love how it replicated it in Lego. I think it came out amazing with all the designs. Now, I think the front could be a little better, but that's the best I could do with all the Lego parts that they have available to us. But I think it really captures the look of the 1965 Ford Mustang really nice. We have this little kind of like splitter i don't know what this is it's like a bumper that goes right under the grill and headlights right here but then like the body kind of comes down a little bit lower and then we have a, like the actual splitter on the bottom right here and actually i went with a different approach instead of using the lego city style of wheels i use these kind of creator style style of wheels now if you have the gold ones the speed champion type ones i recommend you use those instead of these but i don't have any of those so i just had to use the regular kind of creator ones right here but i think they fit kind of nice i again i love the whole design here it was kind of hard and fun also to kind of get the little shading on all the details all the little stripes and stars in here as it kind of transitions from this light gray all the way to the dark gray and black in the rear right here but again i really love it i use these one by two or not one by two one by one kind of circular tiles to capture the ford logo on the sides and the this uh kind of one by two these two one by twos right here in like the actual car it's supposed to be like little circles and they have the number 43 in them but i would use the pizza slice pieces the new pizza slice kind of tiles right there to get that circle design but i don't have any of those in white so i just kind of tiled it off but i mean i think it looks okay and for the little monster energy logo i just used a one by two tile right there and for this vent on the side you guys can see i used a cheese slope you guys can see how i kind of built it upside down on the bottom right here and i used tiles for like the little kind of side skirt right there but i mean i think it looks really nice uh, moving on to the hood you guys can see how i get all this engine detail we have the little twin turbos up here which look really nice i use the lightsaber hilts and then i put studs on the front to kind of get those colorings in there and you guys can see how i got that little vent in here for the engine i think it looks really nice and i actually kind of snotted this part right here to kind of get the stripes in there to add a little bit more detail and for more stripes i choose a one by two top right there in black i mean i think it looks really nice you guys can see how i use my one uh tiles right there again right there and right there as well to get more of the stripes coming through and then you guys can see how those white two white plates show through to also include those stripes but i really love the rear here i kind of did take lego's design that they use on the 68 fastback but i kind of modified it a little bit i used two translucent red studs instead of three mainly because in real life they're a little bit smaller and i feel like two of them captures the look really well so and it leaves more space 
uh, so I can get a little bit more detailing in here like uh, these two green by two plates they actually are on by twos they connect to headlight bricks on the inside right here to get that whole design but yeah those are one by two plates that capture again two monster energy logos and then I use one by uh, two plates in white to kind of get the stripes yet again but you guys can see I did the diffuser section right there I use white uh, plates right there to again get the star design on the side but I mean again I think this car came out amazing I love the detail it's a lot of colors and stuff going into this but I feel like it fits and then I used yet again more highlight bricks right here to kind of get the roll cage design that's the best I could do for that but yeah I mean that's pretty much it for this car now into the build tutorial
So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this creation. If you did enjoy this Ford Unicorn V2 in Lego, please hit that like button and that subscribe button with the notification bell on if you want to see more Lego creation built by me. But anyways, guys, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys had a great one. But it's just off signing out.